There has been a brand new unit added into Toilet Tower Defense. And this is a unit that we've never seen any like inside of a Skibbity Toilet episode. Because it is something that has been specifically made by Evan, the scripter of the game. I probably wonder what even is this brand new unit. Now, uh, it's a little bit overpowered, I guess you could say. Around five hours ago, Evan uploaded this video saying play ball in toilet tower defense. Now, if you're thinking just as I did, I thought this guy was crazy, bro. What is he talking about? Blade ball in toilet tower defense. And if you've never played blade ball before, it is essentially this game that you smack the ball around till you kill people with it. And it looks like, yeah, just like that. That's how you kill people with it but evan had basically implemented the function of that into a unit inside of toilet tower defense so let me go ahead and show you guys what he really did now obviously full shout outs to evan i'll leave his channel in the description because he's the one who made this and he's the scripter of the entire game so you have to support him for that and he basically made this concept which isn't an actual thing in the game just yet but it could be and i have a lot of things in which i want to show you guys but however as you can see right here inside of the game whenever he goes over to the machine or the summon units machine there is a unit called the blade baller and as you can see, it seems to be the mythic inside of the summon from right here. Like, you can literally see that it is the 0.2% chance. And it's only in there for 17 minutes. And he does, I think, actually get her first try right here. I don't know if it was his luck, but wait, hold on. Okay, where even is it? But he does get her really early on. Maybe it wasn't first try, like, uh, second or third. Okay, no, he did get a first try, I think. If I look back here, um, let's go ahead and see if he gets anything. Yeah, the first try, he literally gets the Blade Baller. So, bro must have some crazy dev luck or something, bro. Hey, Evan, I know you got that luck, bro. So, come on, please give it to me, man. I really need a corrupted cameraman. But he does get that, and then basically he summons a bunch of other times and doesn't get anything. But as you can see the stats, bro, right here, if I zoom up, the damage is literally infinite. INF literally means infinite, and it attacks everything every 0.3 second to a best of 0.05 seconds this instantly means that the dps of the units also going to be infinite and i don't know if it could be different like i'm pretty sure if he did actually release it into the game it would have to be different but i would love to see this as a unit bro imagine how cool that would be you can also see that there is a blade ball mode bro which has 20 waves and apparently it's rare plus recommended and it has a, a thousand gems that you get so this is really cool how he made all of this for one video bro i'm actually so happy he did this but as you can see he has the blade baller now this unit has something so cool that he scripted that i've never seen any tower defense game do before even ones that are like very well developed I mean, at the start, it looks like it's just a very normal unit, and it is. It explodes whenever it hits the enemies because he, he deflects the ball and it attacks the toilet, which instantly kills it. Now, what if I told you there was stuff that would come toilets that would literally hit the ball back and forth between you? These are actually called clash toilets, with basi which basically mean like they hit it back towards you and you are also hitting it back and then eventually either one or the other thing will die and that is exactly what actually happens and as you can see like i mean this is a very interesting concept i would love to see this as an update but at wave five right here you will see a clash toilet coming bro there is something really cool that comes through here so if you actually give it a second right there as you can see there's a weird toilet coming and this is the clash toilets because as you can see 
is hitting it back and forth and then eventually the blade baller gets hit so uh, he gets stunned now i don't know if like the clash toilet itself could get hit or if it's always gonna be the blade baller that's getting hit, but i think both of them can get hit it just depends on chances i guess now here as you guys can see now the full clash toilet the big one has spawned and they are fighting and the blade baller wins so yeah it can actually beat them inside of the clash war and right here it's basically just standing there bro attacking everything and i think there's more clash toilets that spawn and stuff like that this is a really cool concept i would actually love to see this unit in the game so i'm gonna give you a like evan bro please add it into the game i really thought this was a thing for a second because a lot of people have been telling me that it is a thing already and looking at the shop right here the summon shop it is not in right now now in the video as you guys saw earlier it actually says seven of these exist meaning it's somewhat already in the game and the game did actually just get updated so if seven of these already exist who really owns the other six because it clearly is not evan and not talanthric from his video and that's when I was told that you actually get a new version of it from the nightmare mode. And when people say new version, I'd assume that it doesn't have infinite damage because that would be overpowered. But apparently you get it from nightmare mode. And it doesn't say abysmal mode, so I'm not even going to try that one. So let's just go ahead and go to the Palm Paradise map over here and try it out in nightmare mode. Will this work in nightmare? Who knows? knows good question but firstly i actually need to set up my team for this i'm gonna bring an engineer a upgraded tying cameraman um a pumpkin farmer um as well as hmm, let's see what other things can we bring a scientist tv man would probably be pretty good as well and you obviously can't forget about our friendly sinister cameraman but let's go ahead and try to beat the Palm Paradise Nightmare Mode with this team. The thing about Nightmare Mode now is that it has the Boss Toilet 4.0 which got added this update. And I've heard that it was pretty strong. So uh, hopefully it doesn't become a major issue for us. But I'm going to go ahead and actually begin with our farms as soon as we can and then slowly start placing down more stuff. There we go. I have placed down a bunch of farms so far and I'm going to be trying to place them around here so that we can defend against stuff that is going to stun my characters. But now we need to begin placing down some engineers around the area. So there we go. Now that we have enough money, let's go place down two. Hopefully we can beat this first try bro because i don't want to spend too much getting it considering i don't know how the good the stats are gonna be but this is such a cool unit to have bro i would love to have a blade baller character and it would be really cool if like they made it in a specific mode such as the blade ball mode and like let's say that one's also 50 waves and if you beat it you get the blade ball character but apparently you can get it in nightmare right now so let's see if it's true i'm actually gonna go ahead and skip the wave so that we can go ahead and upgrade our engineer cameramans both to level two and so far my engineer guys are doing a pretty good job of defending against things like dual claw toilets but there is a boss toilet coming through now which is a little bit worrying i'm also gonna place down every farm that i can so whenever the next wave starts we actually get a bunch more money there we go one thousand dollars that is gonna help us a ton bro let's go ahead and upgrade both of them again i want to start getting down my upgraded titan cameraman because uh so far we're only relying on engineers which isn't good okay now we are at wave 13 so i think it's a perfect time to place down our first upgraded time cameraman and i'm gonna kind of place it like 
a little bit in this corner so whenever we get it to aoe it attacks everything there and so far so good if we can beat nightmare mode first try solo bro to get this unit that will literally be the best thing that could happen and we can now go ahead skip to upgrade it and it is doing pretty good for us also i know for a fact that next update or the one after that is going to be the uh, hallow or no not halloween but thanksgiving update in which they'll be adding in a brand new turkey cameraman and talanthic has been talking a lot about it saying he really wants to add something like that and and he thinks it'll be really cool and i'd assume he's gonna make a really good if he does so that could be something that might motivate them to also add the blade baller bro i'm not even gonna lie the blade baller is such a cool unit i think it would be by far one of the coolest units that they could add just imagine a blade ball x like toilet tower defense collab i don't know if they would even actually have to collab because blade ball isn't an actual like like the blade ball guy isn't by the game blade ball if that even makes sense but here's the boss toilet 2.0 so we still have the 3.0 to go as well as the 4.0 which is the new one that they added but they are managing to like stun my upgraded titan cameraman bro it keeps getting stunned stop oh my god one rocket toilet got through because i couldn't upgrade this titan cameraman but luckily we did get it but there's a bunch of minigun toilets and these guys love stunning bro like they stun a lot so i wish i brought a medic cameraman but instead i brought a scientist tv man which i should definitely start placing down soon but he finally has the aoe bro this aoe is gonna make a huge difference further on in the game but right now since it is getting stunned a lot we're not gonna be able to tell much i'm gonna place these sinister cameramans around it one just for protection and as well as like possibly using it later on to upgrade because this upgraded titan cameraman is getting stunned way too much man one more upgrade till we have the max upgraded titan cameraman and we are halfway but it's taken us like 30 minutes almost bro which is kind of crazy but there we go we are so close to upgrading this guy bro there we go let's go ahead and upgrade it to max level now the aoe is huge so this is going to be very good and i can actually begin upgrading my sinister cameramans around this guy as well because these guys are very good too and if you didn't know these are a very good cheap alternative to the upgraded titan cameraman so definitely get them while you can because they're going to be leaving next update okay we are at wave 40 and it is actually increasing in difficulty a lot because back here it did get very far on this toilet so it might be a little bit of a problem but i am upgrading my scientist tv man so that we can hopefully get some better defense in the front but all of these guys keep getting stunned which uh is a little bit of a major problem and i'm not sure how to quite fix it i'm going to start upgrading this other titan cameraman as well so it can start doing some damage too here's the boss toilet 4.0 bro oh no this is gonna be a very big problem because he actually stuns a lot it's one of those characters that actually utilizes its stun ability a ton therefore it's gonna be annoying to defeat oh no bro there's a lot of stuff making it through and we are at only wave 41 so that means we would have to do this for nine more waves so i don't know if this is going to be possible there's literally a military rocket launcher toilet that is going right now yeah there is a lot of stuff making it through bro and these guys have so much health so best thing i can do right now is skip the wave and hopefully upgrade this upgraded titan cameraman bro because i think if i don't max this one out it is over there we go now we have upgraded now it has the aoe so it is somewhat better but we're still gonna need ten thousand more cash to actually get it fully maxed out and this toxic mutant toilet with 1.1 million health is not helping at all also in case you guys didn't know i was actually working on my own roblox game 
I am making my own Roblox game very soon that you all can play. And I am going to give a lot more news on that in my future videos. And if you guys want more information on it, go ahead to my Discord server. Link in the description. But this is becoming very close because a lot of this stuff is making it through. But we are managing to defeat most of it. There we go. We can finally max the upgraded tying cameraman. And there is our second one maxed out. Now, I really want to focus on maxing out this uh, scientist TV man because we only need one more upgrade on it. And it does get a splash damage explosive. So it's very good. There we go. We have it at max upgrade now. And there it is. It's AoE damage. So it's pretty good as long as it doesn't get destroyed which it does actually kind of die very fast here but at this point we can begin upgrading the sinister cameramans as well but now we have the infected titan speaker man coming through bro oh no the boss toilet 4.0 as well this wave is very difficult there's a glitch toilet too now wait what when did this get released Bro, this guy's stunning everything, and he has so much health. Here we go. It is getting so close. Wave 48. Oh, my gosh, bro. We are literally getting overloaded. There is no way I can defend this, and it's only wave 49, so there's one more wave after this. And now there's a massive buzzsaw oven coming with almost 2 million health. I think we should be good down here, except I don't know anything about the pack, bro. Here we are on the last wave. I'm actually going to go ahead and start upgrading my sinister cameramans as soon as I can. But they're instantly getting stunned, bro. It's giving me, like, no time to upgrade. There we go. I have upgraded it, and it is level 5, so it's not too good. But we are doing decent damage down here. Now, I think we're dead, bro, to the stuff in the back because this has 800,000 health. Yeah, we are definitely dead, bro. No, come on. It's so... Yes. Oh, my God. We're still alive. Come on, bro. We are so close. Kill this guy. Oh, yeah. Never mind, bro. We are definitely dead. There's just no way that we are even going to survive this. Of course, we lead to the new unit, bro. The boss toilet 4.0. I wish I had a spider TV because then I definitely would not lose. But I don't have one. So, yeah, we unfortunately lost, bro. No. Well, let me know if you guys did it and you got the unit. If not, I hope it really gets added into the game bro i feel like it would be such a cool thing to have but yeah if you enjoyed this video watch the video on the screen it's one of my best videos yet and i think you will enjoy it a lot i handpicked it for you